Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and we got a Balcones from Texas. It's a pot still Balcones. Pot still straight bourbon whiskey. And we're going to test it! Texas heat style. You surprised me with the kids in bed style. Boom. Yeah, yeah I told the boy they were asleep. We're filming at night. <clears throat> Told him, listen for the test. I don't know if you heard it. All right. So, this came in from John McKinney. He actually said, hey, do you have it? We do not. He sent, sent a couple of bottles. He sent quad. 266. Ooh. 270. I will tell you a little side story. So you know I got a lot of board games usually show up here quite awesome. And I, I had a UPS notification and I knew there was some games supposed to be coming. So I thought it was games. I get a homeboy's like, hey dad, package, a little package. And it's big. It's the, it was a big package like what board games would come in. So I was thinking that's a board game package. And then I picked it up. I'm like, hmm. Heavy. Yeah. What's going on here? And I cut it open, and then my wife was like, I got excited. I did a little dance, and she was like, I, you weren't even that excited at Christmas. I was like, that's true. That is true. So it was like it was like I got a gift, and we're going to try it on, but we can switch it to anything from a whiskey clause. Mm. I know, a whiskey clause. I was thinking around, could it be the, the whiskey bunny? Could it be the whiskey fairy? That probably wouldn't work. Could we go with the Lord of the Rings deal and be a whiskey wizard? I've been mm. I've been kicking these around. Mm. That's yeah. too close to the tribe. Probably. Okay, okay. Is it they bottle. tribe? They do a thing with a wizard. Well, the Wizard uh, Academy. Yeah. What about a wizard uh, whiskey mage? Uh, whiskey. Uh, that sounds weird. Uh, dunce. No, they're not dunce. They're sending it. It was like a whiskey clause, like a Santa Claus. I don't know. We will work on that because maybe we're not ready yet. I got some ideas there. We will. We are working on a reward for people that send us bottles. We need to do something, a little bit more recognition. Yes. And a we reward. can't commit yet. Well, we're gonna, <laughs> You're we, on me. Yeah. Because I've had some ideas. Well, this came up a while back. Yes, it did. And we've never acted on it. Right. So Have we been we, busy? Though? Yes. We have. Yeah. But Bart we want to have... With a lot of ideas. I have a lot of ideas. Some of which... Or even have to do a manga shirts <laughs> and balconies, <laughs> Texas pot still bourbon. Perfect, bringing it back on straight track. bourbon whiskey. Go. First of all, red label, forty six percent color. I like it. Pot uh, still, and they, they do have the batch number on here. It's a nineteen dash one. Well, TPSB nineteen dash one. Mm. So it must be pot still T Texas pot still bourbon nineteen dash one. Date February twelfth of twenty nineteen. Mm. Um, not 24 months, right? Aged at least 24 months. Mm -hmm. Never chill filtered or colored. Right. You don't have to in Texas. Nope. No need. And I believe beef. this one says they're actually, you, they are using the new charred casks. So, yep. New charred oak. Well, they'd have to for bourbon. Well, that is true. Good call. Sorry. I wasn't even thinking of that. I was thinking <laughs> of the one where they're, I was thinking the Mer uh, Mirador. Oh, Sorry, yeah. the Mirador was the one I really, Refills. really love. That's a refill, but you're right. It's called bourbon. It's got to be the brand new. So. I get a very you, rich. Yes. Caramel. Yeah, I had to sip this. I sipped this open and sipped it pretty quickly. And in, and I'm not kidding. It showed up today. Like uh, two hours ago is when Christmas started. Yeah, Ooh. on the nose, I get chocolates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chocolates, fudges. Sweet caramels, and I got I got dark fruits as well. Almost okay. some plum. Yeah, really rich flavors. Now I'm going to admit the pot still. I didn't even know what to expect. I'm like, okay, they used a pot still. I'm used to that with a lot of the triple distilled Irish whiskeys. What is this going to be like? Um, the nose is very very sweet, chocolatey, and aromatic you do get a little bit of the nose of the what you called and i liked it you can smell the texas heat mm -hmm. 
which is why I threw mm -hmm. that in there. And, and it's on the palate as well. A hint of that Texas heat coming through. That's the Texas heat. Does things to the wood. Extracts come out. Add us this slight tinge in there. Yeah. I call the Texas heat note. Now here's the beauty I get in this. I get the Texas heat. I get some of the cinnamons. A lot of cinnamon. Yeah, lots lot of, of cinnamon. Those caramel bourbon notes. Mm -hmm. But after I've I've swallowed, it switches to a. I told my wife. She heard me going. Mm, mm. She's like, "What? What is it?" I go. I get. To me, it is a dark fudge or that that spread that fudge spread that you can put over a cake or whatever. You know, kind of like people get the cheesecake spread. A fudge frosting. Is, yes, a fudge frosting spread was what it reminded me of. Mm. It's got those sweet undertones, but then a rich fudgeness. But then it did another transition. And it's still there, and it'll stay there for a minute. Toasted coconut. And I was sitting there going, oh, my. Yeah, I could see that. What I've been thinking while I'm sitting here is... Yeah. I don't know that I would, if this was blind, I don't know that I would say this is a bourbon. It's it's not far off of the beaten path of bourbon notes, sure. but some of the normal bourbon right. notes aren't there. If I gave this to you live and said, is it or is it not? You'd be like, oh my God, I don't know. Because right. the bourbon, you're right. It, although it's got those cinnamon strong notes that are bourbon. Cinnamon has, and caramel. Right. But then there's, I still The get, finish is, is way different to me. I still get almost like some sherry notes and some grassiness okay. to right. it as well. Almost some some raisin, some plum, mm. uh, that that fudge and the caramel that you get. Coconut, I don't know oh, about. Toasted. Not just coconut. Toasted coconut. And then just a slight Texas heat. Mm. It's good. It's really good. 46%. Now, I wonder if this is That's actually really the good. first time they've done the pot still. I think Man. this might be the first batch of the pot still uh, bourbon not going to be the last I'll tell you that mm. the chocolate i got on it surprised me because mm -hmm. quite honestly the mm. only other thing i get a lot of chocolates on what what you're probably just going to say it no you a lot of things you, you call get me crazy a lot of things you get chocolate on well you call me crazy that corsair oat the oat rage mm. is where i get a lot of tiramisu chocolate i was going to say rhymageddon Really? That's, that reminds uh, me of Rhymageddon. Wow. Almost right there as you were wow. talking. Before you come up with it, I was going to say the, mm. uh, which is Corsair. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I it's like just it. got it's such good. a nice finish. I love mm. it. Mm -hmm. I really, 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 I'm going to get one more really. Like. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will tell you too, when, you, when I got here, you were sipping on it. Yes. So try it. Yeah. I thought you'd already added water to it, which mm -hmm. you hadn't because it is really smooth. It is. And it feels lighter than 46%. Right. Now, I haven't put water in it. I don't think I would drink this with water. I just but added a drop. There's but somebody I know that's like, you should. You should try it. Mm -hmm. Somebody I may know is close to me. I'm just going to go whoop right there. Bam. Go, you want water? Want the water? I already added. Oh, you're sneaky. <laughs> Didn't even see it. I'm also using, well, yeah, I have my, my Glen Cairn, my Canadian Glen Cairn from upstairs. What I like to do is add a drop of water <laughs> and then another drop of water. Mm -hmm. Sometimes an ice cube. Mm -hmm. I let it melt. You do. Mm, no, no, no change from the, with a drop of water. Of course, one drop right. isn't going to dilute well, that much. But it's really smooth. Yeah. It's really light. Or I mean, for 46%, for, for it feels Very lighter. smooth. Very smooth. It doesn't feel 46% at all. The the beauty here is in the finish for me. It's that rich fudge that lingers for 15 to 20 seconds. And literally as I was, I mean, when it first hit me, I took another sip. And that's when I started making all the the, the verbal cues that it was something I liked. And then I, I was trying to almost hold on to the fudge. And it slipped away. And it immediately went coconut. And then my wife's like, whoa, whoa, what do you get? Liz's like, what do you get? I'm like, oh my, hold on. It's not just coconut. It's toasted. It's like those toasted shaved pieces of coconut. Which I'm going to tell you something. I don't really like 
real toasted coconut. But I dig this. <laughs> I can't figure that out. You throw toasted coconut on my ice cream, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I think it's because it's chewy. A little chewy. Did I lose you? Did I lose you with I was listening. No, I'm surprised by the pricing. I pulled it up to How see much? online. Anywhere from $30 to $40. Oh, steel. Uh, lowest is 29 and this is in California. There's three places Holy that have it for $29.95. Mm, we're going to have a dummy effect. Uh, $33, $34, $35. Get it. The highest is 43 Get so. it. The dummy effect is in play. It's good. <laughs> it is really good. Uh, mm. Is that worth it? Yes. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. 93 mm. nah, I, I like wouldn't it. go that high. I like it. Um, this is a flip already because usually yeah. I'm more concerned with my score. 93. Easy. I say 90. Mm. That's still good. Yeah. That's, it. Like That's it. it in the good threshold. It's the finish. Oh, my. You know I like a linger. And then when it lingered and transitioned. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I was digging it. I was like, whoo. Digging it all. And... Like I said, it, it drew, it was like a moth to a flame. My wife Liz came over, and then she's like, I got to try it. And and I walked her through a load. But she did not get the fudge or the coconut. All right, Traveling Dummy. Traveling, and I'm going to send it's this to up. you right now in email. You are a genius. Because you're going to edit this, yes. and then you're going to text me, and you're going to say, I, I need, need it. picture. I need it now. I'm like, I already Where sent it to you. You're like, send it. Don't have it. Can't Rumble. find it. Rumble. Rumble. Uh, he he sent us bow. a few traveling pictures. Yes. But like he's it. at the, um, the, I don't know how to pronounce it. It looks like Harlem. Right. I'm sure it's Harlem, Harlem. Harlem train station in the Netherlands. <laughs> so, I don't know how they pronounce so it. Like, like, these guys are dummies. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they even, the way they rolled it. Uh, and he says this, this station was used in the Ocean's 12 Amsterdam Central Station scene. Hmm. Uh, the scene was actually shot in the Harlem in Harlem and not Amsterdam as it was, in, as they said in the movie. So, cheers. <sighs> And he's looking down the uh, out towards oh, yeah. the it's like there's a roof there. area, but it's got a nice curvature. That's the android head. That's my favorite. You like the android head. I dig the Spartan. I like the Spartan. Really do. Oh, we've set our coin numbers. Yes, we have. Patreon shout outs. We have some Patreon we do. shout outs to do. We do. And while you're looking that up, I want to say I got, we had a bunch of folks come in last month. I got all, we still got Christmas cards around where maybe. Maybe we're on a swing, and we're just giving each other a little push. Maybe. That's on there. They've been we sent We came out. up with an idea for next Christmas card. Right. Yes. I did. You probably, did. You probably don't remember. I've already forgotten. I'll remind you in between that. We don't need to give anything away. Speedo? <laughs> no. God forbid uh, that was close. You'd been like, damn it. <laughs> Randy Adams, $1 Patreon Ooh, supporter. Go Randy. Randy. And William, I would say it's Gerbig, G-E-R-B-I-G, mm. or is it, would it be Gerbig? I would say, I think it's a hard G. Oh, yeah. uh, it looks like Gerbig. Gerbig. William Gerbig to me. Right. So cards are going out. One dollar. Yeah. Support. Thank yeah. you, William. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, so come on and support. You'll get a card as long as they last. Can't guarantee when they run out. They run out. I got extras right now. But uh, come on, help us out. It's really the uh, biggest way to help our show currently, other than... Please like and thumb and subscribe. Is that how you say it? We never say it. I, I know. We to, never say it. I wanted to throw I it just in. just commented the other day, we never say it. We did it now. <laughs> and then you do it. I did. Literally, it was like a week ago. I'm like, uh, yeah, we don't do Well, that. it's five years I think it half. goes. I think I it goes. Some I think people, people know. know it. Some people they know. know it. They don't know. Everybody knows it. I think if we said it, we might pick up an extra four. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I won't ever say it again. Well, I won't say that. I won't say it anytime soon. I won't say like, subscribe, and thumb. Like, comment, and thumb. And hit the ding well, bell. That's the thumb. Hit the bell. Press the thumb. Hit the bell. Uh, comment, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> yeah, we love the comments. So, all right. Anything else? That's it. John, thank you. Yep. Thank uh, you, John. Yep. yep. Loving John. Super Scotch God shout out to all John right. McKinney. I'm call him my little whiskey claws. Scotch it. Oh, wait. No. Because I want to remember. Uh, no. Come on. People say they like it. Let's try some. When you drink with us, you never drink alone. We toast to family, friends, good health, and home. Pour an Irish, a bourbon, a rye. But if you scotch. Scotch it. You scotch god. It's a launch it. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs> <laughs>